in previous video we have run a server in the node mcu board and we accessed the server by using the ip address so in this video we are going to access the same node mcu board by using android mobile so for that purpose we require a app called blink it can be downloaded freely from the internet so by using this app we can create buttons sliders joystick and also display units and also we can send and receive the data from this app so first we will see the software part and we will connect this bulb to the node mc board and we will control by using this app so for that purpose we have to download the esp core which we have seen in the previous video how to download esp core after downloading the esp core you have to include the blink library so you can find the blink library in the google google for blink Arduino library and download the latest library available in the github so after downloading this zip file we have to download in the zip so after downloading the zip file open Arduino software go to sketch and click on include library and add zip library now select the zip file which you have downloaded after that click on open so after success after importing this library you will able to see the blink folder in the examples here you can see the blink so if you are not seeing this one the library has not imported into the software so make sure that you should include correctly now by using one authentication key unique authentication key we are going to access this board open blink app in your open blink app in your mobile and click on create account after that login into your account after that you will get something like this so this is the dashboard where you can add widgets like switches sliders joystick display units sensors etc so here i am going to create one button after creating one button i am going to control the light by using the button for that purpose click on create new project we can give any project name here i am going to give some led and choose your hardware we are using node mcu so this blink app can will support different types of platforms or different types of microcontroller boards so select node mcu so we are using wi-fi connection so select wi-fi and click on create so now this is the dashboard where we are going to add one button so first click on the plus symbol and select button so by using this button we are going to access the light connected to the node mcu here we connected the light to the d4 so we have to configure this button with the pin number so for that purpose select this one go to pin use digital we will see the virtual pin concept later first go to digital and select d4 and then it will ask for the type of button it may be a push button or switch so here i'm going to use it as switch and you can give the labels like on off these are not mandatory after that go back So now click on here and you will see a menu like this here you will get authentication tokens we have to place that authentication of this account in the Arduino program so that this app will identify your hardware so for that purpose 
here go to examples we have already installed the blink library so go to blink after that boats wi-fi we are using wi-fi boat so select wi-fi and select esp standalone you will get something like this this program so we have to modify this program so that we can get access to the node mcu from this app so first we have to place our authentication key and our network name and the network password so you will get authentication mail authentication key to your mail if you click email all it will send a number some authentication token we have to copy and paste it here after that give the Wi-Fi name or SSID and also password so copy the authentication ID which you got to your, to your register email ID so this is the authentication key so simply click on upload you need not to change anything in the program just we have to give your Wi-Fi name password and authentication key that's it so I'm going to upload the program to the board So after uploading the program, click on play button here, then you will get access to control the node MCU. Before that, make sure that your node MCU should connect to your local Wi-Fi to check that. Go to serial monitor and wait here, you will get that your Wi-Fi board has been successfully connected to your Wi-Fi uh, your local network so if you are if it is not showing anything simply change the baud rate here here the baud rate is by default 9600 change it to 115200 it's, it's the default baud rate for node MCU board so upload the program again So if you are not seeing any data in serial monitor, simply click on reset button. Then this board will try to connect with the local Wi-Fi and it will print the IP address of that node MCU. So here it is showing ready message. So we have access now to control the light connected to the node MCU board. So simply click on play. Now you can see if you want to turn off so like this we can control the light connected to the node MC board not only a light we can add a slider by using this slider we can control motors 
Also, we are having a timer joystick. By using the joystick, we can make a internet controlled robot. In the next video, we are going to see how to make a robot which can be controlled through internet by using this joystick, which can be controlled from anywhere in the world. So these are the widgets we are having by using these widgets we can do any type of IoT project. So this is the basic project where we are connecting only one bulb and one button.